Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Overwatch. Today we're gonna check out the one, the only Lucio. I'm a huge fan of this hero, but I only just now got notified recently that I, I actually never made a video about him. Well, I made one video about him way back in the day when we had, you know, still no beta going on. Like, sort of like a video to prepare everyone to play this dude. Um, however, um, I never actually created a gameplay video with him, even though he's probably my most played, uh, my like my most played support right now in the game, other than maybe Zenyatta. I'm not exactly sure, but anyway, we're gonna just try our very best here to obviously go over the abilities that I got, and I'm also gonna try and showcase to you some reasonable good gameplay. So in this particular case, uh, we are playing a match right now on King's Row. We are on the defending team. And I am playing the Lucio. Now, what is the goal, the general object objective of Lucio? It is to not only do a little bit of damage to the team, or to the opposing team, obviously, but primarily to help out the ally team. So, my main attack and my main, like, special unique skill is the fact that I can switch between two of those abilities at the same time. In the middle part of the screen, you can see I'm switching between those. Now, what exactly does it do? What exactly does it do? Well, basically, this right one, the right shift skill, I suppose, is what we can call it. Provides the team with a actual speed buff. And then I could also use the left mouse button click, or like, you know, basically switch it to the left instead on the fly in combat constantly. There's no cooldown on that or whatever. Uh, to provide the team with some extra healing. And myself as well. Myself included. Super powerful, really fun to play. And there's a lot of like cool moments that you have. Now, in most realistic scenario, I tend to be using that skill primarily uh, to like, you know, help the team get across a little faster. Oh my god, get him! Oh, come on! Oh, he does get killed there, and we do actually keep the teammate alive as well. Trying to get closer to my ally, make sure that Junkrat doesn't just randomly start falling. And so far you can see, like, even though we're always around the teammates, we're actually providing a lot of healing. We're actually helping them out a lot. It may not be very apparent, but other than, like, a hero like Mercy, that can only do, like, single target healing, we can actually provide the team with a ton of extra sustain, and, like, a ton of extra, like, area of effect healing. So, I did just use my ultimate as well. Ultimate, one of the strongest ones in the game. Uh, it basically provides the entire team with um, a shield, or at least everyone that is close to me. As you can see right now, it says like a little 4 button in the middle of my screen, which means that my heals are currently affecting 4 of my teammates. My E ability is called Amp It Up, and what that one does is it amps up the volume. As you may have guessed, all of the abilities and all the skills that I got here are uh, very much so focused around... Uh, music and whatnot. I'm basically a DJ from Brazil, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for the lore goes for this character, and um, I um, I use those. Um, I use the extra amped up music, I suppose, to provide the team with some either extra damage or extra healing, or to provide them with some extra, um, you know, movement speed. So basically, periodically, I can increase the amount of healing or the amount of um, speed that I can give my uh, my teammates. So right now, it looks like everyone is uh, amped up all the way to full health. I do need to get a little bit closer here. Okay, here we go. And just making sure that I keep him alive as well. So very good. Very, very good. So basically, I'm like the primary area of effect healer. Which is honestly... Whew, which is honestly really, really fun to play. I do end up falling there, sadly. Nice stun there by the Reinhardt into uh, the Genji player right here. Using a Shuriken to murder me down. As you can see, like... I only have 200 health, right? It's not like I have a lot of health in this game, so... Anyways, while I'm running back, I'm obviously gonna be uh, making sure that I get there as fast as possible. Last unique skill that I got as well is the fact that I can wall run. Wall running I actually tend to not use all too often. But as soon as I get close to the teammates, I think I'm gonna go and switch back into the healing here instead. Activating the ultimate. Making sure that everyone at least gets a little bit of extra sustain. As you can see, like, there's a ton of extra healing that you get from that, and oftentimes you can keep... Either, like, you can, uh, you can, like, as the attacking team, you can, like, push towards the victory because of it. Um, or you can, um, or you can just simply use it to hold on to a point. I usually just tend to, you know, use it whenever there's multiple teammates around and there's, like, a bit of a skirmish going on. If you're on the defending team in particular. Now, as far as my basic attacks go, I got a left mouse button click, just like all of the other heroes. Um, that basically shoots, like, three beams like three shock waves of beams and whatnot that is basically gonna help out the team uh, with um <laughs> it's basically gonna help out the team with just dealing pure damage it's not like you can shoot a single one by the way it always goes in like waves of three and then my right mouse button click i can use to basically push someone away just like that on the reinhardt which basically pushes an enemy sometimes out of the map 
but also just out of the direction. So let's say like a Winston is close on me or like a, a Reaper. I can use it to push them away. And right there, he could have accidentally pinned one of my teammates or like not accidentally, obviously, but he could have like pinned up one of my teammates, uh, which would have been really unfortunate. So right here, I basically provided us with a little bit of extra, you know, pushing potential to get him out of that uh, out of that scenario. Now, our Reaper sadly did go all the way up to the high ground for no apparent reason. Not sure if I agree with that. Oh god, I just pushed him away really far, but sadly didn't quite have my ultimate up ready to go and I couldn't ult right there. There's a really cool counter that you can do with this hero as well. Like, let's say I see this Death Blossom come in from the Reaper player. I can obviously use that time that we got uh, to, and look at that movement speed by the way, but I can use that time that we got to uh, activate the Q, my Q, and at that point we can obviously do a stupid amount of extra, um, extra damage, or extra, extra sustain. Oh man, we're in a really dire scenario here. I don't have very much of anything anymore. And they did just manage to capture the very first objective after us holding on for a very long amount of time. Now, the second one is much easier to defend, so I'm just gonna shoot whatever I can find, but obviously I don't wanna just go down. There's quite a lot of travel time with my basic attack clicks, so I just usually tend to use it as often as I can. And just try and get out of trouble here. Whew, that was close enough. <laughs> the good old medic. But yeah, there's a lot of travel time here, so I just sort of spam it in whatever direction I can. And sometimes we, we randomly, you know, hit one of the teammates to get the headshot there. So as you can see, like, I pushed him back quite a lot. Now, sadly, I can't quite, I can't quite easily, I can't really easily 1v1 a Reaper, right? I mean, even though we pushed him back quite a lot, um, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. And my teammates, sadly, didn't realize that that fight was going on. So let's get back into the swing of things. Trying to stop the payload. Basically, they win the game if they manage to uh, escort the payload all the way over there. Two and a half minutes. I think we got plenty of time here to uh, to keep it alive. Come on. Standing still makes this shot way easier to hit. And we do get him right there eventually. But, okay, I'm gonna head over there. Okay. Okay, do I have my ultimate ready to go again? Ooh, that's actually the opposing Lucio that just dropped the beat, I think. Alright. Nice. Oh, nice move. Sadly, the Reinhardt had a shield ready to go. I do have my ultimate up right now. Don't really want to waste it here randomly. Oh man, my teammate right there is in critical health. Okay. I love that skin, by the way, of the, uh, of the Hanzo player. Okay, so I basically just have to stay in close proximity to him. It's a little confusing at first, but as long as you stay close to him, the team gets healing. Alright. Stay alive, my man. Stay alive. One minute remaining only. This is good for us. Don't die, my friends. Alright. Oh man, everyone's low. Raising the volume of everyone, but... Trying to just simply make sure that everyone stays a little closely together as well, so I can actually use it, yeah. Pushing away Genji as well. Good, good, good. 50 seconds only. 50 seconds is something we can easily make. There is a checkpoint along the way though, so that's something to keep in mind. It's actually probably about 10-20 seconds from this point here. So obviously there's also overtime to keep in mind. Alright. Alright, and I, I really honestly enjoy playing Lucio the most in combination with like a Mercy. Seems like double support is the way to go in this game for a lot of scenarios. And um, if you have like Lucio for AoE healing, oh man, there's a Widowmaker over there on the high ground. If you get uh, if you get a um, if you get a Mercy for single target healing and you have a Lucio for area of effect healing, it's super super good. Once again, breaking it down here, just because there's only a couple seconds remaining, and we can use this time here to easily push them back. Easily push them back. He is now frozen and this game is definitely gonna go in our favor. Well, there's a little bit of overtime apparently I have no idea who's close to the objective No one is anymore at the very least and we managed to do 19 eliminations with three deaths here um, And we got a whole lot of objective kills as well. Don't know if I managed to get the play of the game though Think we did? Not quite not quite you don't actually oftentimes get plays of the game uh, on Lucio It's much easier on uh, a hero that is doing damage Oh, wow, they actually changed the scream that he does as well when you're on this skin. That's sick. 
Wow, the player of the game shows him dying. Insanely sick player of the game. <laughs> and we managed to get 10 objective kills with 19 eliminations in total. But let's jump into the next one. Ooh, and after that game, I actually just got a loot box here from leveling up. And it's actually glowing with like legendary colors here. I'm really excited. What could we get? I hope I get one of the six skins as well. As well. What is it? Oh, we just got some extra currency. Nice. How much did we get? Seven, 500? Whoa, that's a lot. Whoa, so basically this currency is used to like get whatever skin we want, really. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> and for the second game, we find ourselves on Nepal. Now, for some reason, we got three tracers in the team right now. I sincerely hope that that is not like actually gonna happen. I mean, the team composition isn't all too terrible. It's just that these dudes are really, really flimsy. They may obviously have grouped up together and just decided to be running with a lot of them. But no, we do actually get a, a second uh, a second tank in there in the form of D.Va. So this is actually looking pretty solid. Good all-round team here that we can use to start pressuring the very first objective on Nepal. Now, as you may be aware, this is one of the new game modes uh, that they've introduced in Overwatch. It does actually change up the game significantly. And actually, wow, cool Junkrat skin right there as well. Thank you, though, very much so, Mr. Lucio, for that last game and providing me with a legendary amount of gold. 500 gold is basically like half of any kind of legendary skin you would like, so pretty sick. Pretty sick, but let's get into this, guys. Let's get into the game. Right. Getting towards the objective as soon as we can. That's pretty nice because we're actually going to get there way before the enemy team and we're already there. <laughs> well, pretty much. Not quite yet, but we're already there. Much before they did. Okay. Got us go ahead and switch to the healing right here. And obviously try my very best to keep the team alive. Amp up the volume as soon as we need to. Oh man, she's all the way back there. I don't know what she's doing there. Diva is going absolutely YOLO. Okay. Did manage to get a bunch of kills there, so that's good. Oh god, get out, get out. Trying to get close to my teammates, making sure that... Oh, nice. Trying to make sure that um, they're obviously pushed back. And we did just already capture the very first objective in our favor. So the Tracer setup apparently is working out quite well. There's no reason for us to get all the way over there though. I'm just going to simply move back. Thank you very much, McCree, for shouting behind you. <laughs> nice ma maneuvering actually right there as well by McCree. 22% right now and we're getting close to hitting our ultimate already. The ultimate uh, on this game mode is really good too. It helps out so much. It helps us so much. Yeah, we're just gonna start draining on them. Not too much I can worry about here. I mean, she doesn't do very much damage from this much of a distance. and Honestly, I'm not too worried about it. We'll go ahead and raise up the volume for just a little bit. We can use our ult if we want to. Yeah, okay, I'll go ahead and use it right now. Just because a lot of teammates are getting relatively low. And we can use this time to push them back. It's very good. Go ahead and obviously try and keep the teammates alive here just by hanging back. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of one of those playstyles, and we do get eliminated right there. It's kind of one of those playstyles where you're basically trying to find a clump of teammates, right? You're not the one that gets to decide exactly what's going on, but you are the one that can easily change the game, you know? I'm not, like, changing the tempo of it or anything. I'm just making sure that everyone stays alive. Now, sadly, they did just manage to capture the objective in their favor. Let's see if we can contest this. I have switched to healing right now, raising the volume once again. Nice move right there by Junkrat, and it looks like we may very well be able to switch this one back in our favor. Ugh. Do actually get killed by Loki there. <laughs> Loki actually does end up killing me there. It's a little unfortunate, and nice, nice use is actually right there of his grenades. We'll get back into the battle once more, and we did, by the way, manage to spend that extra time, or use that extra time that we had to capture the objective back in our favor. So right now, we're in a very you know, higher percentage already, 9%. Very good for us. Get behind my teammates. It looks like there is going to be an ultimate right now from the Soldier 76 player, so that's something to keep in mind here. And 89 or 98, 99 and 100% means that this one is going to go in our very favor. So good, good first round right there. We can use it to um, obviously gather a little bit of momentum and potentially get the second one as well. All right, guys, we're on a new map. We're in a new, a new part of the map. It's time to destroy things, right? This is usually what we do. I like, by the way, that they ended like an actual net in there. Could try and, uh, and grab the ball, but it's quite gonna happen, I'm afraid. 
I like how every single time you're in this game and you're starting off in one of the rounds, so you have like one of these waiting chambers. Everyone is always just destroying everything. It just sort of is one of those things. I guess those are just Overwatch things. All right. Once again, though, we have to this time around capture this like part in the middle. It has like a little, like it's basically up on a higher ground. Certainly, it doesn't like it doesn't unlock right from the beginning, but. We are able to set up in a very good position here. That's why I really like playing this hero as well in this game mode. Like it's it's basically giving you extra time to set up the strongest position possible. Particularly when you're running like with Bastions and Torbjorns and stuff. They oftentimes need that little bit of extra time and you can definitely provide that um, on this hero. More so than with any of the other ones. Okay, so we are capturing the objective. Sadly there's a lot of like enemies nearby. Okay. We did manage to get it, though. We are on fire, though. Nice. Let's keep walking around this pillar here. That's the most important thing. As long as we're walking around the pillar, we're in a good place. Umping the volume once again, making sure that we stay alive. And making sure the team stays alive. Ultimate is ready to go. I can start using that as well if you want to. You know what? Let's break it down. I like the DJ moves, though. It's kind of sweet. And that allowed us to, once again, stay alive for a little while longer. And uh, just, you know, secure the position more. Like, you can see, though, if you actually are able to keep healing up the team, um, you, you start gathering up that additional charge for your ultimate really quickly. I mean, we're already at 30, like, 30 plus percent again, right? I just keep using my abilities, healing up the team, and it just, it just goes up so, so, so quickly. Especially because right now it, like, charges by default as well, and if you're hitting things at the same time while healing, you can, you can almost like, you, no, you can't quite chain him, but I mean, you can almost chain him, I guess. Alright. Once again, getting it. Gotta be careful for the D.Va player. Who's shooting at us? Alright, we'll just keep healing up, I suppose. Why is she all the way over there? Come here. <laughs> Good. 77%. They haven't even been able to really contest it so far. It looks like this is going to be a clean victory. I mean, obviously, it's not to be, you know, it's not to be uh, done yet. I actually don't need to move forward this far. There's no particular reason for that. Oh, oh. Oh, God. He's got us in his sights, boys. Got to worry. Oh, got to worry about that. Whoa. Oh, get behind the pillar. Very right, good. And the team, you know, everyone's very familiar about what is going on here. It looks like, well, while we have got a little bit of overtime here at 99% because they are currently in the objective. And actually do get taken out there. I think this may very well be game, right? Maybe they're actually holding on. That would be weird. At 99% they're going to be able to take it? Alright. I'm going to try and get back in there as fast as I can. They're actually taking it. What? No way. Alright. Time to start, you know, bursting forward. Heal up, boys! Anyone that needs some healing? Oh, man! I don't really want to lose this one right here. Oh, nice ultimate usage right there, actually. Very well done. Pushing them from the objective, if you can at all have that happen. We only need one more percent here. <laughs> they are surprisingly close! Alright, alright, here we go. Amping. Or upping the volume once again, grabbing some extra healing, and that ultimate is charging super quickly. Overtime is starting to disappear, and... <gasps> well, justice reigns from above, but not really that far above, apparently, because she's, she's basically one step above the ground. So, nice game there. We do get the, uh, the victory here as well. Very happy with that one. And it looks like Loki as Junkrat, the opposing Junkrat, that is, uh, is going to get to play of the game. Probably with us dying? No, maybe not. That was a cool positioning, though. Yeah, he gets a lot of kills there. Well done. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Oh, there we go. We did die. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. If you haven't already, though, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button as well so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. And I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one. Boom!